Organizations across the Commonwealth are finding ways to continue helping Hurricane Harvey victims. In central Virginia, one group is hoping to leave this weekend and another is on standby. WSLS 10's Magdala Lusant explains what groups are doing to prepare. Organizations across central Virginia are making plans to provide disaster relief to Hurricane Harvey victims. Yeah, we're planning on working with Samaritan's Purse, partnering up with them. They're just setting up to receive overnight volunteers this coming Saturday. LU Send Now will have about 12 people head down to Texas. Getting them back on their feet as they're recovering from this disaster. So really just being them, there for them uh, spiritually and emotionally and physically. While some are packing to fly out this weekend, others are waiting for the green light. We're still seeing flooding going on, so we're kind of in a, in a holding pattern right now. We're waiting for permission to go. Southern Baptist Convention works with about 50 to 75 churches in the Lynchburg area. Organizers predict they'll be sending more than 100 volunteers to Texas in the next several weeks. We're being called down there just because of the totality of this disaster. It's going to be a Katrina type disaster. In the meantime, SBC of Virginia says they're ready to go. They've got trailers for people to shower and prepare food. So that when we take this into a disaster area, we can go into a neighborhood and this will feed a thousand people a day. And to help rehabilitate homes. We'll remove all the drywall, insulation, all the flooring, and then pressure wash a house and sanitize it so that by the time we're done, they're ready for contractors to come in and rebuild the house. With more than 15 years of experience in disaster relief, help, healing, and hope is what some in the Commonwealth want to give back to Texans. People uh, during a disaster um, just are broken. Uh, they've lost, in many cases, lost everything, and they need someone to come alongside them and help them begin the process of putting their life back together. In Lynchburg, Magdala Lusant, WSLS 10.